So, hello there my YouTube kittens. Um, I, the idea was to be inspired by the ocean, so I picked a fish, which the link, the link to it will be in the sidebar somewhere. It was really cool, like some orange, some purple, um, some pink, and with blue tealish spots. It was really cool. So, um, this is what I came up with, which I, I honestly think it's pretty cool. But I like loads of colours, and if you're not comfortable with that, then yeah, just change them a bit. <laughs> um, but if you would like to learn how to do it, and or if you would like to learn how to do it, but just change the colours, this video might still give you some ideas. So I hope you keep watching. Love you. Bye. Okay. So first of all, you put on your primer, whatever it may be. Um, after that, we're going to use a um, cream base like this one. This is actually um, a really cheap one. I think it's from yeah, it's from like H and M, and it's called Champagne. Um, but it works really well. Whatever base you have, you use. So just putting it on my finger. I'm the only one who uses this, so don't worry. And I'm just gonna put it on my eyelid. just going to help the colours to stick a bit better. And after that you just like, you rub your finger over the edge just to blend it upwards. No big deal. After that we are going to take uh, a flat brush and we're going to wet it a little bit and then we're going to go to the 120 palette and use, let's see, this orange right here, if you can see. And that we're going to put on our lid up to our crease, like this. Well, it's, not, well, it's, on, a, like, it's on the lid, it's not exactly up to the crease. Well, no, it is up to the crease, never mind. <laughs> Can't make up my mind. But yeah, it is up to the crease. So, if you want to, you, you can stop a little bit here. You don't have to go all the way in uh, if you don't want to. After that, I'm going to take this dark pink. Um, it's very dark. Pinkish red almost. From, from Urban K, And this is called Sting. Right here. In your crease. Put it on like so, and then just do that old windshield motion thing. And again, you just like mostly follow your follow your eye socket. You'll feel it, you know. Um, and if you're not sure, you just like you just slow it down. It doesn't and it's not like you have to hurry up, you know. Just do it to the best of your ability like so. And then if you want, you can blend those two together. I quite like it like that because it's like you don't really see it when it's open anyway. But just do it like this. Well, or just use a blending brush of course, but I forgot mine <laughs> when I set up this thing and I do not want to go get it. Okay. So, for the blue, I believe we're going to the blue now. We, like you can see on this side, we're just, um, we're using it as an accent really. For that, we're using, again, the 120 palette, this blue, this really um, dark, really pretty blue. And this blue is really good and it's quite, it's like, it's really pigmented. I was pleasantly surprised when I used it with the, uh, <laughs> with the side effect that I used too much <laughs> at first. So you just you know, that outer V everyone talks about. My outer V is quite big, <laughs> as you might have noticed. But you put it in there and then you just like, then you just work it in, really. Just work it in over the other colours. Make it as, try and make it as even as possible. And I'm going in just a little bit up here. And after that, just work it in. This is probably going to be those um, 
acquired taste sort of things because like when I was first like trying things out I was like oh my god mess of colours what am I going to do but it worked out quite well actually like the colours anyway I don't even know and then I'm just gonna put some more orange there on the lid and just work those back and forth and just blend them together Essentially just do this until you're happy with the results, which I think I am right now. Okay, well almost right now. After that we're going to use this colour. I believe it's uh, it's called Emerald, but it's number 8 of uh, the, um, uh, the Body Shop Shimmers. And it's sort of a very soft greenish, bluish sort of thing. It's very very soft but it's very very pretty and really quite shimmery. Um, this is one of those products I'd, I'd recommend really because I use this so much for pretty much anything. Um, with this I'm just going to take a regular applicator and just put that or dab it into the corner of my eye. Like so. Just softening it up a little bit, not too much though, because we don't want shimmer everywhere. But yeah, corner of the eye, a little bit in here, underneath your eye as well. Okay, after that, we're going back to our flat brush and back into the blue we used uh, as an accent. And with that, we're going to line um, the, oh sorry, the um, under your eye right here. and just like dab it on very carefully and then it's just it's going to meet with the with the blue used as an accent so just work that up there and just like you can just brush that in and then I'm going to get those two together so it's such, not such a obvious difference after that, we are going to go to our 24-7 uh, Glide On Eye Pencil from Urban Decay. And this is in electric. Uh, this goes on your waterline. Or oh, I'm planning to have it on the waterline. It doesn't always feel like it. It's like a kit that way. With the terrible twos. Whatever it's called in English. I'm just going to use a smudge brush and just dab it across the eyelashes. After that we're going to get a soft coal pen. This is from uh, Bourgeois Paris and it's in ultra black. And we're going to line parts of our upper lashes just up to this point right here if you can see. Because we don't want it into the corner of our eye. Because that will uh, it will close it up a little bit, and if you're going to be colourful, you might as well be colourful. Just try and get it between the lashes as well. Mm, this video is going to be edited. Awesome. I think I actually managed to get mascara on my contact lens. I am the only one who can do that, I swear to God. There we go. That's the finished thing, I believe. So this is my my inspired by a fish <laughs> fish look. Um I hope you like it. If you do. I would like you to comment and subscribe because that would be great. Thank you. Bye bye kittens. <laughs> I forgot to do the close up. So here, I hope you can tell, oh God, I hope you can see this actually. I keep saying that though, but this, maybe right here, like this.